Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Jay here, aka Mojo Sports, coming at you guys with a recap of some pickups from the last couple weeks here. I am back in LA and let me tell you, I'm getting summer out here. Gosh, man, it's May already. It's May already. But uh, I have a ton of pickups I wanna show you guys from the Toronto Card Show and just some random pickups that I've been getting. Before I get into this recap, I wanted to show you guys, I met Alex Rodriguez, who I've actually never met before. He had like this event thing I went to out in LA and I got him to sign two things for me, which he was actually super nice when I met him. I got him to sign the 98 Fleer Metal and I'm gonna take it out of the top letter. I just wanna show you guys a couple autographs that I was able to obtain while I was out here. Sign the Fleer Metal. Very nice looking card. And then he also signed this, which I'm gonna try to find a way to get Pudge on it on the bottom right. But uh, A-Rod signed that right there. And he signed on Pudge's face, but I'm gonna get Pudge to sign right there. Usually see Pudge every summer. I just wanna say first off, thank you to everybody that was in Canada that uh, was just so kind to us. It was just an unbelievable trip, international. And the hobby, just to see the hobby alive in an, an entire different country was amazing. and. You know, the experience is what you make it. I think these card shows are a great way for all of us to connect and show, you know, not just the cards that we love, but just like sharing the hobby we love. So it's pretty cool. So so I did pick these up. You probably saw them in the video. These Breaking Bad packs, which I thought were super cool, but I picked up these Breaking Bad packs. I'm actually gonna open one at the end of this video and uh, show you guys what's in it. So we'll take this one and put it on the side. And then I also picked up, cause I, I was trying to use even numbers. I picked up some Michael Jackson packs which i'll probably just keep these sealed and i guess it has candy in it so it has gum in it but it's ring pop but i can feel a piece of gum there and you guys remember what happened when i tried the 89 bowman gum at true sports cards we're not going to do that again i'll dive right into it my first hockey card i picked up in canada and it's actually my first one uh for myself personally and it is a sydney crosby dual jersey autograph right there and it's a sticker auto game used and just to show you guys, it's numbered six of 10, said the kid. On my list, my next autograph I want, besides like a Gretzky, would be Connor McDavid or Mario Lemieux, guys like that. But uh, Sidney Crosby is awesome, obviously. He won three Stanley Cups. And uh, I actually got this for 250, which I've been getting a lot of comments saying it was a really good deal. And I, I have to say, you know, just telling you how much I paid, I literally paid 250 bucks for it. I thought it wasn't that bad for Sid the kid. They actually don't like Panini. They're more upper deck. So I think that's why it's cheaper is because it's Panini. But in America, I mean, this to me is like a three, $400 card all day. So it's pretty crazy to see the difference there. Shout out to Jack from Canada. So I had him sign his favorite card. I mean, he signed it for me and gave it to me. Um, and that's what I'm keeping in this. I picked up this Kevin Durant autograph from 0809 SP rookie edition. Nice looking auto right there, Kevin Durant. It's a seven with a 10 auto. KD, let's see if he can finally pull it off. I have, I have a bold take, and I think this is uh, what he should do. If Kevin Durant, if you're watching this, or anybody from Kevin Durant's camp is watching this, I think he should go to the Oklahoma City Thunder and have the greatest redemption story in NBA history besides LeBron James about going home. That's my thought. Silver ink patch auto. Um, you know, love hate with these. I think silver looks good at some level, but the smoky background kind of takes away from the silver. You can kind of see it there. Jalen Waddle. Three color patch auto. It would be kind of cool to see an orange like a uh, paint pen on there instead, I think, or like a uh, blue deco or something. Razor signatures. People always ask me what to name the product because they want to buy the same card. So this is 2007 Razor if you're going to look for this card. And uh, I've never seen it before until Canada. So Jerry Buss autograph right there. Legendary right there, Jerry Buss. So my first auto of him, I didn't even know those existed till Canada. My price point that I like to buy at, just kind of opening up, you know, just about the market. I buy between $5 and about $1,000. And some stuff too, I will grade. I also have to add that. So anyway, let's show you guys Joe Burrow rookie. You know, at the end of the day, I, I love collecting anyway. So like this is, all this stuff is inventory and it's just collectible. Chet Holgram, Chet Holgram, just a couple of his rookies. I didn't have anything of him. Banchero, some of these I can get autographed as well. Um, they're like two, three dollar cards, you know, but I was like, if I, if they're like two to three dollar cards and I'm getting them in a bulk lot for 50 bucks and I'm getting over a hundred plus cards, you know, at some point you have to think like, man, that's not a bad deal. Toy Story Alien, pick, uh, pick that up. JD, shout out to JD for giving me that. Evan Mobley, red, white, and blue. This is all stuff from lots. Tyrese Maxey Silver. I just, I, as much as I like to show the big deals, I like to also just show you guys that I'm, I'm seriously just picking up like whatever I think's liquid. Silver Prism rookie, Kaminga hasn't really been playing. Devin Vassell Silver, 
Mike Evans Genesis. So just a lot of this variety stuff. Kenneth Walker out of 100 rookie. Micah Parsons. Joe Montana Genesis. Dirk Nowitzki headband. So I have the Boogie Cousins of this. And it's actually like a felt headband. And if you guys want to know what this product is, it's 12, 13 past and present. I opened a lot of this during my junior and senior year of high school. So it's actually a headband right there. And I don't remember Dirk wearing a headband that much, but pretty cool right there. Dylan Cousins Blue. And then I heard a lot about this guy, Cole Caulfield, and he plays for the Canadians, Canadians, Montreal Canadians, I think. Cole Caulfield, he's American. He's from Wisconsin. And this is pretty cool. Chris Beckford Sue uh, patch. So I'm getting into hockey a little bit. And then just flashing through some more. Charles LeClure out of 399. Right there. So just a little bit of variety, you know, and, and I, like I said, guys, there's no cookie cutter way to do sports cards. You know, at the end of the day, buy what you actually enjoy. But if you build a brand, I tell people this all the time, you can build a strong enough brand. You could really bring out like, like different customers. You'll, you'll find cards that people are looking for, you know, like for example, I buy, and I'm totally loyal to this. I buy a lot of Northern California stuff because I know a ton of people that will buy this kind of stuff from me. Trey Lance. This is a $280 gamble that I took. 17 out of 25. Just showing you another pickup. Just picked up that beautiful Trey Lance auto. I was just trying to show you guys I'm not limited to what I buy. I'm all over the place with it and uh, I'm not mad about it. LeBron James. Just some lower level stuff. By the way, I still have it, but I've been giving away a ton of stuff. This is called the free stuff box. I just, now that I don't live at my parents, I have a ton of just like stuff I want to start giving away because I don't want to hoard it, everything out into Los Angeles. So, so, stuff like this, like um, these Kevin Durant's will be given away or some of them will be auctioned. But just to show you guys what I'm doing, you know, I'm, people probably are wondering like what the heck's going on with the buying process. And I feel like I want to be a little bit, not necessarily transparent, but just more like, oh yeah, I'm actually like showing you guys everything I'm buying. Because sometimes I'll just show you like the 20 or 30 cards. I don't always show like everything. So I'm trying to get more into that. This one's one of my favorite pickups. This is 12 out of 25. He's, you know, he does so much off the stat sheet, but I'm telling you guys, he's, he's one of my favorite players to watch on defense. And that's Davion Mitchell, 17 out of 25. Look at that on card auto right there. On card auto patch Davion Mitchell three color patch auto out of 25 so beautiful looking card there for my PC so like for example this like I tell people this all the time too find a PC you know I PC the Sacramento Kings and I invested a lot of time going to playoffs and I invested so much time into seeing them play for the last 17 to 20 years of my life I was paying t for tickets I was going to games during the worst times and I love the team no matter what like I could put this Davion in my on my desk I could put it in my box you know I have it you know it kind of feels like I have a part of Sacramento in me being here and having this so it's good stuff you know so pick that team pick that player and, and kind of go from there just some quick ones kenny pickett rookies like i said this is all just like value box stuff that can go in some of this stuff will be given away kendrick lamar that's a pc card i'm not selling that hitmon chan shadowless psa 8 this was actually a really cool card to find in uh, toronto i um, really trying to get into my vintage pokemon collection so i've actually been buying these uh to keep them so some vintage Pokemon. I grew up on the original Pokemon. I'm not into the new stuff, just personal preference. When it comes to stuff like this, for example, this 2000 Topps Chrome Vilaplume, I barely remember this, but this is pretty cool. It's a Topps Chrome Vilaplume. So Topps had a little Pokemon collab there. I love this guy a lot. He's honestly, at this point, I'm not even buying him to invest. I'm just buying him to collect him. Uh, Christian Polisic. Right there, on card autograph for the win to get, like I always talk about on this page, to get soccer on card autographs is super rare because they all sign stickers. So it's just amazing. And then this was a gift. This is a city of gold. Shout out to Situation Andrew 35. He is a huge Kevin Durant collector. I remember this now. 10 out of 49. So if you guys ever send me a card or a gift, just put your username or just your name on the back so I can track it back and shout you out. That was a gift in Toronto. Love that. 2021 Panini Prism, autograph 10, SGC 9, right there. And then this is so cool, you guys. I thought like, and by mine, I'm like, man, if this was in America, I feel like someone would have bought this. I got this for about 20 bucks. How about that? Ron Perlman, if you guys know who Ron Perlman is, he's Hellboy. So 
thought that was a great card on card auto for 20 bucks in canada I couldn't pass it up for guys like this is like man i'm telling you in august before these guys even throw a touchdown pass or even touch the field people start to buy man and, and it's crazy justin fields just picking up some stuff at him people always ask about guys like this so i like to have them you know a little bit early i picked this up uh by now it's almost been a month you know three weeks to a month so i mean this this guy's stuff you know the drafts happen so we're seeing a lot of changes there i've been just staying staying low key the next show i'm going to is the dallas card show so if you're going to that come say what's up and then i got some cool announcements coming up in the next three to six weeks and i just gotta say i cannot wait to share it with you we got some just autos here mio oni auto i'm gonna fly through these daniel house jr who i think he got kicked off the team i don't know if he's even in the league anymore he did something kevon looney this is like ugh, he crushed the kings Kevon Looney, oh, that's a great card right now. He's playing unbelievable for big big man. John Sally Auto, legend for the Pistons. Uh, Joel Embiid rookie, just won MVP. Very happy for him. That he was my pick for MVP, to be honest with you guys. Better system now, better coaching. Russell Wilson, refractor rookie. Trying to pick up some more raw stuff of that. That's the the problem with this stuff when you pick it up is it's very like this was back in 2012. I'm not saying it's like 1960, but uh this card ain't like I, I saw it after the fact this card ain't gradable at all so i might i might just hold on to it and sell it raw but uh it's pretty pretty messed up right there as you can see so when you're trying to buy raw if you're trying to buy for grading like man if someone's trying to sell a raw card there's a reason they're not getting it graded so obviously but cole anthony auto shout out to cole anthony he collects pokemon cards part of our community Cassius Stanley, not sure what happened to him. Skylar Mays, Nas Reed, Purvis Short. He has a nice looking. The legends always have nice looking autos, which you gotta respect. Reggie Theus, former Sacramento King. I remember that name. Some more rookies: Paulo Benchero, Benedict Mathurin, and uh, Chet Holgram. Chet, Chet could be a good buy too. I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think of Chet Holgram? I haven't bought any of his cards besides these cheap ones, but curious if anybody buys him or what you guys think of his ceiling. This is a cool card I wanted to share actually. 2005 Topps Finest, Wilt Chamberlain. And that's actually at a 199. It's a great looking card, Topps Finest. And this is actually the checkered board X-Fractor. So these are really cool. Definitely brings me back. Connor McDavid, Fleer Metal, McDavid Die Cut, McDavid Orange. Connor McDay, or sorry, Leon Drystall, who's amazing, by the way. And then Kirill Kaprizov, which I know people were commenting on my video, he's older. Dude, he's totally like 25 years old. So there's something there with like, maybe being a little too old. I get it, everyone speculates on who you should buy, all this stuff, but I did look up his age and like, I'm I'm actually kind of like in the, on board. Like you gotta buy guys that are like 23 and like under. It's like a major league baseball player that's been stuck in AAA that's, you know, finally figured it out at like, you know, 28 years old. Do you guys think Kirill Kaprizov is a buy? Honestly, just trying to get this hockey community plugged in. I don't know enough about hockey, but I probably would rather buy, if I had to pick, I'd rather buy McDavid, Crosby, and Gretzky, even though McDavid's so expensive right now, so I probably won't be buying McDavid, but just th those are on my list. Also, the Chicago Blackhawks just got the number one pick, I believe. Um, so I think they're gonna pick that guy, Connor Bedard, and I definitely wanna know your guys' thoughts about that. Canada changed me, I'm talking about hockey, right? So it's fun though, I, I'm invested. You know, I was happy with the Maple Leafs winning that first round because I know that that meant a lot to their fan base. So that was cool. So um, shout out to Ben Carlos. Shout out to my boy, Alex, anybody in Canada. All right, last thing to end this video, let's open this Breaking Bad pack. I'm so curious to open it. I feel like a kid on Christmas and let's do this. By the way, if you've never watched Breaking Bad, just do me a favor, just watch the show. Watch the show and then watch Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul season six on Netflix, unbelievable. I finished it, I am in shock. Here we go, this is a Breaking Bad uh, pack. There's like relics, look for randomly inserted autographs. Every one in 24, it says one colon, semi colon 24, wardrobe one in, one in 24, and special inserts are one in 12, no guaranteed numbered special inserts. Here we go, let's do this. I'm gonna open this Breaking Bad pack on camera and I'm very excited to open this and it would be sick to get these autographed. Okay, so since I know the show, this is actually more fun. Lydia's Betrayal, she was uh, something else. You guys remember Lydia? And then next, The Cleaner, we've got Mike and the man, the myth, the legend himself. Walter White. It says, Saul sends his private investigator, Mike Airman Trout, to remove the money and drugs from Jesse's apartment before the paramedics arrive. Jesse suffers a complete breakdown following Jane's death. Oh, that was tough when Jane passed. I remember that. Next, ooh, I am the danger. Lydia's fate. We all know what happened there. We'll hold off on that if you have never seen it. And then, what about a magnet? Magnets with the cuss word. 
classic right there. This is an iconic. Look up the magnet scene, if you've, even if you've never watched Breaking Bad. And next, we got Grey Matter, which Skylar, I'm just going to tell you guys, she was my least favorite character in the show. And uh, that's Skylar and Walt. So pretty cool right there. So pretty cool cards. Like, I, you know, last thing I'll share on the cards for these, like, man, I just, I would, I'd put those in a box. I'd put those in this, my Sopranos collection box, those Breaking Bad cards, because I watched the show. I feel, I felt attached to the show. I enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys have show recommendations, somebody was recommending The Wire. And actually, I'll show you in the corner. Look what's on my TV, Ozark. So I got Ozark queued up on season two. I've never actually finished it. And if you guys have other shows, but man, like show cards and like just all that, like hopefully like fanatics can like bring that entertainment. And I know Leaf sneaks it in and like some of the private companies put it together. But man, if you guys could see any show cards, like what show would it be like that you'd want to have trading cards from? Comment that down below. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. It just was nice to check in and, and just kind of just film an old fashioned recap video, having a good time, talking about some pickups and just having some cards in my hands and sharing them with you guys. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost to 40K. Follow me on Instagram, Mojo Sports LLC. Also use my code for Zion cases as I'm filming on it right now. It's not supposed to be a tripod, but I did it. And use the code Mojo10 and you'll get your 10% off. I always say this and I've been saying it a lot, but I've been living by this. You can restart your day at any moment. So if you're feeling down, you're going through some stuff, restart it to bring, bring it back, bring it back. Just constantly bring it back and take a deep breath, go for a walk, listen to music, all that good stuff. So uh, with that, Dr. Phil, AKA Dr. J is signing out. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.